Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Veteran Yuba actress Idowu Phillips, who is probably called Mama Rainbow, is 80 years old today. And she has gone on to say a powerful prayer. Apparently, Mama Rainbow is among the old veterans in the entire Nigerian movie industry. Many people even get shocked to realize her age. These days, it is a great blessing to even get to 70. And this woman is now 80 years old without bending or having bad eyesight. Many people in the movie industry have adopted her as their mother in the movie industry. She's quite active, even apart from gracing her screens, which has been doing decade after decade, entertaining us. Just two weeks ago, she herself and another veteran were battling for the best dancer as Shino Peters performed at an event. Yawaru is some two years old whilst Mama Rainbow is 80 years old. And in our words, God Almighty, it is your goodness that you have added another year to the celebrant's life. I seize this opportunity to give thanks to you for all the great things which you have done in my life. And I pray that light will continue to shine upon me. As I celebrate this day of 80th birthday, it is my prayer that your greatest blessings will continue to be with me giving me guidance in all of life's endeavors. Even as all glory returns to you, thank you, Lord. Ushi Babadada. Many people pray for long life. She's not just 80 years old. She's 80 and active. She's among the veterans who have been entertaining us decade after decade. We're also joining me to celebrate with this veteran actress, Mama Rainbow, and we pray that may God bless her new age. For those who may ask, even though she's 80 years old, this veteran prays that she reaches 120 years old. She revealed this last year when she was celebrating her 79th birthday. It was when she was speaking with Sunday Scoop and the excited celebrant said, I'm celebrating my birthday today. I was born on October 16, 1942. It is my birthday and I'm glad that the world is celebrating with me. I pray to God Almighty to preserve my life up to 80, 90, and 120 years on earth. I wish to reach 120 years of age, especially due to the missionary work which has now been handed over to me by God. I have a church, and I pray to live longer to fulfill my purpose. At this age, I'm still very agile, going to locations, modeling, advertising as an ambassador, a whole part of exercising which has helped me to be smart. But like I always say, it is the grace of God Staying healthy at such an age is God's gift. It is by the grace of God that I'm still relevant in the industry. And it is God's time and he has decided to help you. There's nothing anyone else can do. When I was younger, I never knew I could be this relevant. I realized my popularity when I was 50 years old. But I prayed that the younger ones would never go through the kind of ordeal I experienced before making it to stardom. If God permits me to live longer, I will continue acting, advertising, and stay relevant in the industry. This was what she revealed that day. If you want to know a little more about this celebrant, Mama Rebo, who is celebrating her 80th year on Earth, please stay with us. Her name is Ido Phillips, but then she's only called Mama Rebo. She's a Nigerian veteran actress who is from Ijebode in the United States. Mama Rebo was born in Ijebode also. And she attended African Methodist School and Anglican Modern School for her primary and secondary school education, respectively. Her stage name, Yerimbo, stems from Ushumari, meaning rainbow in British English. That was the name of the theater group of her late husband, who sat the pastor many years ago. She worked as a healthcare assistant in general hospitals in Nigeria for several years and occasionally used to act in theater those days with her late husband. It was not until her husband passed on that she ventured into acting full time. His name was Augustine Anyofemi Phillips. That man worked closely with the veteran actor, Saobat Ogunde, is one of the highly revered ones. And since then, she has featured in hundreds of movies. It has been said that she had about five children. Till this day, her married boy is among the top veterans who has mouth-watching endorsement dues. In fact, she is a brand ambassador for Airtel Nigeria, a telecommunication company. She is also an ambassador for Yotomi Golden Estates, 
a low-cost housing estate project initiated by the late movie mogul Aladere. Some of the movies that she has featured on over the years include Yemi Malova, Back to Africa, Lagidi Ba, Jesu Mushere, Kodu, and Yogungu, 150 million, if you want to talk, and 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 this is just to mention a few of them. She has featured in hundreds of them. But then it was not all rosy for her at the beginning of her career. In fact, for many years, she was tagged as the cheapest test player in Hollywood. At some point in her career, according to her, she revealed this when she was 79 years old just last year. She revealed that she was given such a degrading name in the movie industry circle because she stooped low to conquer. She made this known in an interview with Sponge newspapers. She went on to say that it was true that she participated in any movie that came her way and added that she had to because she was trying to raise money for her children's feeding and schooling after their father died. And in her words, it was written in newspapers then that I was the cheapest actress. I was popularly known as the Yoshimari, then not the Yarimbo. If I did not do that then, I wouldn't have been able to successfully raise my five children. Even in church, when everyone else bought clothes and jewelry for the festive season, I did not to do that. The best I could do was to buy those things for my kids when I put on rags. It was because there was no money and there was no one I could meet for help. She revealed that she trained as a nurse before venturing into acting and she had to participate in so many movies because she didn't want to be married and knew she had to provide solely for the kids. And in her words, I also did not want to get married to another husband. It was not an easy thing to do because I used to trek to some movie locations. However, I'm grateful that it has ended in grace. She, however, said her sacrifices paid dividends as one of her kids who lived abroad appreciated her efforts and surprised her by building a house for her. It was when the house was completed that they said to me, Mommy, you are the one I built this house for. It was so pleasing to me that I wept tears of joy. When their father died, there was no one that could help me. I was left with all the children. It was taxing, but I'm grateful to God because my child built me a house. This was what she narrated last year. And this year she's celebrating yet again. I eight year to year on earth. Or she is praying to live up to 120 years old. And I pray that may God grant her heart desires. Please leave your word of prayers and congratulatory messages for Mama Ribo. We are saying happy birthday to this legend. May God bless our new age.